So the first thing I want to just hit is just concept, Lisa, of feelings. Oh, feelings. You know, like hmm. when you saw that picture of us way back when, yes, exactly. yeah, that would have been, uh, you know, pre-1998, we won't go say exactly what year it was, and all was well. Everything looked so great, and, you know, our marriage would be fantastic. We were in bliss. In bliss. No, we were in bliss. Yeah, sure. we were happy. I'll yeah. never forget the day I got married, and the lady came up to me, and she said, you look like the cat that swallowed the canary. That's exact words. She said, and I said, well, that's how I feel. I feel I like feel. I feel happy, and I get feel to live happy. with my girlfriend forever. Yes. Well, what else is there? And, and sometimes, through the journey of life, yeah. Those feelings, feelings can go up and down. Yes. Is that true? Yeah, the feelings definitely can subside. Uh, you could think to yourself, what am I doing wrong? Why is it that I don't feel so in love anymore? Um, should I have married him or her? Did I make the right choice? Um, all of those things start to happen, and those are our feelings, and, and they're real. Yeah, my Lord, my dear, that's yeah. real. Mm -hmm. That is real. And sometimes you go through those experiences, and there are different inflection points of your life. Yeah. It could be middle-age crisis, post-middle-age crisis. It could be different levels of, of actualization yeah. where you're looking at yourself, feeling, did I make the right call? Mm -hmm. You know, I've ma made an error before. Or have I made an error again? And, and all it could be stresses on the job, anxieties of health, Absolutely. anxieties with money, just saying my life is a mess and is it your fault? Yeah. How come you're not giving me what right. I, I need was, to do well? I was just well, thinking that. You know? I was just thinking that like yeah. the spouse, you look at your spouse and you're saying to yourself, you are supposed to be filling me up. You're mm. supposed to be making me happy and you're not making yeah. me happy. So now what? Like what are wow, we going to do? Wow. So what we're going to do is let me share, we'll share a few steps, a few tips. Sure. Uh, and, and the first is remember a marriage should be a vertical marriage. Mm. A vertical marriage means a line that goes straight up. Straight up. It means God's in the midst. Your marriage is as strong as your relationship with God is. Mm. God is your source. God is your strength. God is your peace. Amen. So that Amen. not only do I relate with you, First, I gotta relate and get things right with him. Yes. And I'm gonna walk with God is gonna dictate so much of that relationship. I can share with you uh, an experience I had mm -hmm. uh, where I was working and doing well. You can even work in a church, be a pastor, be yeah. a bishop, be a worship but leader. All of you, it. You could be, all you, you know, it. all world yeah. in, in what you do. Uh, and still at home, your relationship can have some tension. Absolutely. Some areas where you say it's really not that good. And, mm -hmm. and there hit a point in our relationship where I said, you know what? We may agree in some areas, but we completely disagree in this area. Yes. And there was an area in our, in our relationship we just couldn't see eye to eye. Yes. And I just said, you know what? Yeah. God's going to have to fix her. <laughs> S something's wrong with her, you know? And, and I said, at some point, she's going to get enlightened. Oh, he's going to have to fix you. Oh, yeah, he's got to fix you. Oh, he, yeah, oh, I was okay. right. Oh, okay. you know, and, 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 and so I said, well, you know what? I, I don't know. I, I just got to keep on being awesome all by myself. Mm. And, and, you know, I, I had a, that super complex where you think I have to be the superman and the superhero. And yeah. people feel like that sometimes. I've got to carry the whole ship until my spouse yes. or my loved one levels up to where I am. And I remember we were having a, a, one of our, I don't want to say arguments, our Conversation, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what it called? Uh, agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. That's, what, That's yeah. a dangerous we, we phrase. We do that a yeah. lot. Yeah. And, and I'll never forget where I said, "Let me try something different. Let me not try to figure out what's wrong. Let me pray hmm. and ask God to help me figure out what's wrong." And hmm. that took a level of humility yeah. because it let me know as soon as I took that posture, I don't have the answer that I have to submit myself to the one who does. Hmm. Don't miss this. And once I got to that point where I said, God knows what I need to do, it took me to a place of humility in myself. That's when I could hear from God. And what the Holy Spirit told me that yeah. night is the Holy Spirit said, she's not wrong. You're both talking about two different things. Yeah. 
And the word that the Holy Spirit gave me in that particular argument, I'll, I'll use the word argument, I'm gonna be yeah. transparent, is he said, you're giving her theological answers, but she's asking you a relational mm. question. She's asking you, do you wanna be with me? Yeah, that's true. And you're telling her, well, the Bible says, and this, that. And she's, that's not what she's asking. Not what I'm asking. <laughs> she's asking a relational question. Amen. So the Holy Spirit that morning was, it was literally like someone saying, Listen to me. Take yeah. out a pen and a piece of paper and say exactly what I'm telling you to say. That's exactly how the Holy Spirit talked to me. And he said, go back to her tomorrow yeah. and tell her everything I told you may have been right theologically, but that's not what I hope for, want, or see in you. I want to be with you in every area of my life. Yeah. And I literally told Lisa what the mm. Holy Spirit told me, and everything just broke. Uh, and, and so the first thing that I'd like to share with you is if you feel like you're losing feelings or stress yes. or strain, stop, drop, and pray. <laughs> Amen. And ask I the like Holy that Spirit. Stop. To Repeat that again. Stop. Stop. Drop. Drop and pray. And pray. I love that. That's right. And let That's the, good one. Let the Holy Spirit get you together. Amen. You, you know, and, and, and the first thing is when you start repenting, changing your heart to God. If your walk with God isn't what it should be, it's hard to hear from yes. God. Am I right? Yes. And so you, when you get that right and you get your walk right with God, he will teach you how to repent and to turn around and to change. And then you want to begin to walk into forgiveness yes. with the one that you're with. 